when working in 3D and in 3D Studio Max, it's very important to keep a grip and a handle on how many polygons and how many faces you're making in your models because it means that's how big your scene will be, it's how complex your scene will be, and it will also sort of slightly uh, affect some of your render times. So within 3D Studio Max, they've got something called statistics, and these can be accessed by pressing the numeric 7 on your keypad, the one that's just above the letters, and you'll notice here that I've got a uh, little bit of information. It says polygons, verts, and frames per second. And we've got a total come up. So there's a total of 660 in this scene, 382 vertices. And if I rotate around my scene, you can see that my scene is being rendered at 147 frames per second. Now, I've got a fairly reasonable graphics card in here. I've got a, um, an NVIDIA GTX 260 that's got about a 786 meg of RAM in it. So it's not too bad a card, it's not too shabby, so I'd expect to get that kind of frame rate redraw uh, as we go through. But maybe I don't have all of the information that I want. So what I need to do is I need to configure my viewport statistics to give me better information that I would find more useful. I'll do that by coming up here to the cross and left clicking on it in the viewport and going down to where it says configure. From there my viewport configuration dialog will come up and I'll click on the statistics tab. What I'm going to then do is, I don't, I'm not bothered about the vertex count, but I do want the polygon and the triangle count, and I do want the total plus the selection as well. And then I'll click OK. And what happens now is this has changed ever so slightly. The number of polygons is the same as the number of triangles, but there's nothing selected. If I select the table here, it's telling me how many faces there are in the table. If I open that group up and I just select the bit at the bottom here you can see there's 128 polygons and 128 triangles in there but there is still 660 polygons in the entire scene so if I was to select every object you can see everything I've got selected has got 11 entities and 660 polygons and in total there's 660 polygons in my scene and I'm still moving around at a fairly reasonable speed as well so really that's what I need to do. I go to the little plus button, down to configure, click on the statistics tab, and then you can see I can have either edge count, vertex count, I've got triangle, polygon count, I can have just what I've got selected, I've got can have just what's in the whole scene, or I can have a little bit of both, which is the one I would recommend. I've obviously got show statistics and active view. Yes, of course you want to press that, otherwise you wouldn't be wanting to see the scenes. And I can also go back to my default settings, which I don't want to do. So I'll click on OK, and there you go, you can see what we've got is the scene and my statistics.